with Fatima Ui or Pat, the owner and founder of Tagalogtime.pat on Instagram. Mabuhay! Kumusta, mare? Hi! Hi, kumusta? Salamat po! <laughs> wow, I like that you are wearing that earring oh. symbolizing the national logo of the Philippines. Amazing! I love that, Super Fatima. Super pretty. Very shiny. I know, but also, thank you so much for joining us um, on the three-hour news show um, all the way from the Philippines. Uh, which city are you uh, currently on? I'm actually here in the United States. Oh! I'm here on the East I, Coast I, in North Carolina. Oh, you, oh right. my God. I okay, thought okay. you were in the Philippines, but you're actually in North Carolina. But, okay, uh, Fatima. When did you start uh, uh, tutoring the Filipino language or Tagalog and promoting its culture through social media? My husband and I started a YouTube channel in October of 2021. And we started making um, videos for children about Tagalog lessons because we have two young kids ourselves. Mm. Oh, okay. And I, one day I was looking for Tagalog lesson videos mm -hmm. for kids yeah. and I found some, but there weren't very many. So we decided to make our own, and my husband works in media production. Ooh. He makes videos and edits, and so we just kind of went from there. And oh. then I transitioned to Instagram and oh. TikTok because people said they wanted to learn um, like short segments while yes. they're on the go. Yes, yes, true, yes. True. Nice, so nice, and uh, so clever to start yeah, yeah, from yeah. media social, and you can uh, do it remotely, so people can ac get access to that. So, how is the uh, progress? How is the uh, viewers or the response to uh, to what you're doing, and according to your followers? Oh, it seems like it's going great. I've met a lot of people who either didn't grow up speaking Tagalog and now they want to learn it or maybe they are marrying someone from the Philippines and they just want to understand the culture better. So it seems like it's going really well. Nice. Okay, so um, aside from, um, you know, providing uh, good videos for people to learn uh, Tagalog, I, I mean, you started out for, uh, for kids, right? Um, what are your other goals in creating content about uh, the Filipino language or Tagalog? And also, um, because I saw some, uh, some of your TikToks also, you, you teach uh, about cultural experiences. So what are your goals in it? Yes, I hope to, oh, sorry. I hope to um, expand maybe my YouTube a little bit more. I want to make more videos for children, maybe start a podcast as well. Um, and as for teaching about the culture, I just realized that culture and language are all connected. So yeah. if I teach about culture, it will help people understand the language and vice versa. So I like teaching both. Wow, mm. so nice. And other than uh, the uh, language, you also share content about cooking uh, Filipino dishes and so many, uh, so many more. Um, according to your followers, which content do your uh, followers like the most or which one is more, uh, uh, most favorite? Some of my most successful videos are the ones where I teach the short Tagalog phrases, uh -huh. maybe the one word or two word phrases. And I understand why. It's kind of an easy way to start speaking Tagalog. If True. you can start saying short phrases, you can, you can communicate. So yeah. I understand. And I'm glad they appreciate it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I learned that myself as well everywhere I travel in the world. Yeah. Uh, I instantly asked the locals on how to say some of the magic words mm. like um, hi, thank, uh, you. thank you, please, mm -hmm. uh, how are you, yeah. like greetings like that. But as a PNA, mm -hmm. do you think learning Tagalog uh, is hard? It can be a little tricky. Um, the grammar sometimes doesn't make sense. It's just something you have to know. Also, the pronunciation and the stress in certain syllables can change the meaning of the word if you don't know how to say it properly. So I, I learned Chinese and I know that um, when the tone is, is uh, not right, uh, the word can actually mean the other thing. But is that also the case with, with Tagalog? Uh, not so much the tone, but definitely the pronunciation. Oh, okay. Can, can you give us uh, some example? Sure. So, for example, the word kaibigan is friend, 
But if you say kaibigan, that's your lover. So are you oh. talking about your friend or your lover? Oh, wow. <laughs> so uh, probably Fatima, can you give us some um, easy uh, way to learn a Tagalog, especially from someone who didn't know anything about, about Tagalog? Tagalog. <laughs> My biggest tip would be to change one word at a time. So mm -hmm. if you're learning new vocabulary, just incorporate words in your daily conversation until you can say the whole phrase mm -hmm. in Tagalog. So mm -hmm. for example, if I want to say, oh, can you close the door? Mm -hmm. I would say, can you close the pinto? Oh, and pinto. then over time, just keep changing more words until you can say the whole phrase. Oh. Also watching um, like Filipino movies. Yeah. Really helps. There's yeah, a lot of Filipino movies on it has Netflix. A lot. Exactly. I love to watch them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's, All right. that's clever. So, Fatima still, uh, will, will still be with us after the break, so don't go anywhere. Well, don't go anywhere in Tagalog. Oh, I don't know. I, I, should, I should ask her. <laughs>